Hello everyone, this is Dreadwing2029 and today we're going to talk about another custom, this time it's Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Custom Predator King. Now this one was actually not painted by me, I know right, but this one was actually painted by Night Slash 2020 Junior, the story about that is I actually got a spare Predator King for Christmas and I sent that to him and he basically pen it up, make it look good and send it back to me as well as High Octane Bumblebee from Age of Extinction and the Deluxe Class uh, Bumblebee as well from Age of Extinction, the new form that he gets in the film. So that's pretty good. But however he did send it this over um, two years ago, he sent it 2015 so I'm sorry I couldn't talk about it until now, but as you know, I got kind of got sidetracked massively. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from the head and go from the body as always. So here we have the head. It has a kind of a really nice silver. It kind of, really nice, it kind of blends well with the black here, like the mandibles here painted all the way to here. Kind of looks like a mustache almost, that silver mustache. Uh, the eyebrow, and you also got the um, really nice um, yellow paint in the eye and that in this part to kind of give it the yellow highlight from Transformers Prime. Now unfortunately due to transformation it did kind of scratch the paint, especially here and the back bit as well, so kind of unfortunate about that but maybe I could like just paint that over with I don't know maybe with like a like a glossy silver or a titanium but really nice looking head and we move down to the legs where the claws and even like these bits here are all painted silver and as well as the uh, joint bits as well now what he's actually done is he's actually cut off, see how there's only one toe, there should be like two toes, well he's actually cut that off, I'll show why that's done in robot mode, but as you can see, in also on the feet, he's also painted the yellow highlighting as well, continue along here. Now he's painted the arm blade things, the silver colour. As well as continue the highlighting, and you also got this. You got the silver bit, but up further you got this kind of dark metallic grey here to kind of break it up, which looks really good. And also the gold as well, which also looks good. I just love the highlighting on this guy. This it looks absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Um, on the rope, on the butt mode, on the front you got chest, which is painted gold, which will obviously. Show a lot more in robot mode. Um, these bits, which will be shoulders, are not really painted fully, but kind of um, a black around the shoulder spikes. And also, once again, the brilliant yellow highlighting continued through the shoulder pads and also down here to these little vent bits. So here's the midsection of it, which... Has a little bit more detail in there, but I'll kind of get more into that once it's in robot mode. But I can show off the again with the dragon leg, um, silver detail on the the foot heel bit here, uh, black on the spike, uh, yellow on yellow highlight on the, the the joint here as well, and it kind of continues long up the leg. He didn't really paint much of this leg which he only did like a little bit with the highlighting and also the silver bit here but not really much to go on that now here's the tail again he went over that was silver i believe that's also orange as well on the tail and on the actual tail part he actually did a s silver around this part and kind of left the gold in and also painted in more of the highlighting which looks well done now here's it from the, the top and he also painted these bits here which is silver and once again the yellow highlighting so 
really nice job all around on the dragon mode. And even had time to paint these weapons, which he didn't actually paint the front, which he did a bit of the black, um, more of the yellow highlighting, even painted the missile yellow as well. Highlighted this bit, painted this bit silver. Um, it, it does still go on there as well, as you can see, I didn't actually put in, but very, very nice job on the dragon mode. Which, when I first got him, I was extremely impressed. So now we move on to robot mode. So here's the robot mode, and as you can see, it absolutely looks fantastic. But as a comparison, here it is next to my Predaking. They can see the kind of the paint job I did, which is this crummy silver, the terrible yellow there. And also I try to have like the yellow highlighting from there, but it doesn't really look that good. Um, crappy silver there, just all around not really a good job. You can see like the amount of detail and paintwork that's put into this one. Um, I am kind of reconsidering like redoing this guy possibly one day in the future. But that's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on this glorious, glorious, glorious guy. So let's start with the head. Now the head, if you saw back on my Predator King, it was still the basic um, factory paint, which this one has uh, repainted the orange spikes tips on the head. Kind of give it a crown look and also continue the highlighting on the tiniest, tiniest tips of these spikes, which really nicely done. Um, on the chest here, there she has the, uh, the gold around the collar, and as well as it does have the silver, bit of the silver detailing on the mid ab section, as well as continue along the yellow highlighting, but kind of left the orange here, the um, original orange, which which is okay. Like I said in the um, dragon mode, I did say that the um, the shoulder pads here are painted this black, but also continue the silver here, but also he did paint it the spike orange as well. And the arms, just like in dragon mode, are this really nice darkish silver, shoulder blades painted silver. But um, I did mention in dragon mode that it did cut off um, one of the um, bits of the heel, which is this part here. It's like right here, as you can see, where it's been severed. Um, he did this because he noticed in... Uh, Transformers Prime, he only had like about this, which was like that three fingers and one thumb. And he pretty much, I talked to him on Google Hangouts and we discussed whether or not to do this. And I totally agreed to have this removed. And in robot mode, it actually, actually looks pretty accurate to how his hands look in Transformers Prime, which is... The claw hands, which looks really, really cool. So now we want to get down to the leg section. He did paint a bit of detailing on the uh, crutch point gold, but also continued this nice, really, really nice silver on the legs and continue it down. Uh, on the knee pads, he painted it black, as well as continue the gold to the actual knee. Uh, nice silver here, as well as the yellow highlights on the vents, and up here on the gold as well. Um, orange continued down the black battery paint. Um, silver here on the edge here, gold here. So... Even on the back of the legs, there's a bit of silver there, which, which is from the dragon leg. 
um, yellow highlighting on the um, near the toes, the toes themselves. I painted this, painted the same silver that's on the leg, as well as the the black to kind of break it up, and as well as the orange on the little toe spike as well. So, robot mode is very very impressively gorgeous. I'm really happy of the overall job that he did with this predicating and painting it and detailing it. It looks really, really awesome. Um, so if you haven't already, please check out Night Slash 2020 Junior's uh, channel and please subscribe to him. And if you like this video, please like and share with a friend. And also hit that bell for any future content like this to be uploaded in the future. Oh, excuse me. Um, so this has been Dreadwing2029. Signing out and saying, I am not your leader. I am your king. Will die.